Okay, hello boys and girls, welcome to Afrikaans Eerste Editionele Taal and today we're going to look at Leidende Forum uh, and we're going to look at uh, Leidende Forum for Grad 7, Grad 7 So, in a test and an exam, uh, you would get an instruction and the instruction will tell you what to do uh, and usually an instruction will be uh, will look like this uh, for Leiden Forum, where it will say, Schrijf die sinne in die Leiden Forum. Begin met die woorde in vet gedruk. So, basically it just means you need to take this sentence, the sentence that it will give you, and rewrite it in Leiden Forum. And if you're lucky, they will tell you how to start the sentence and they say start the sentence with the words in bold. Right, the sentence. The sien got the ball. The boy kicks the ball. But before we carry on, let's just see what is the definition of Leiden Forum. Leiden Forum is wanneer jy die onderwerp en die voorwerp omruil in een sin. Leidende forum is when you swap the subject and the object in a sentence. When you swap the object and the subject, the sentence will look like this. The ball, which is the object, kicks the boy. The ball kicks the boy. But does that sound right to you? Can a ball kick a boy? No, of course not. So we need to fix it so that it sounds right. And Leiden the Forum rules is going to help you to fix it so that it will sound the way we intend for the sentence to sound. Which is what we want to say is the ball is being kicked by the boy. In order to get there, we need to follow and know a few steps. If I'm going too fast for you, you can always come back to this slide or the video and you can just pause on this part of the video, write it down and um, uh, learn it for your exams or tests. So, few steps. Identify the subject and the object. If you're lucky, the object will usually be given to you which is the letters in bold. Identify the verb. When you get to grade 6 and 7, you will need to know in which tenses or in which tense the sentence is. This will help you to know which rules to apply because each tense has a different set of rules when it comes to changing a sentence in Leiden the Forum. And the last step that you need to cons that you need to consider is are there pronouns which needs to change? So for instance, if the sentence have or has ac, it will have to change to may. In your new Leiden de Forum sentence. If it has yay, it will have to change to yo. Hey changes to hom. Say changes to har. So, in Afrikaans, you need to know. The rules. So, for Leiden de Forum, you need to learn the rules for each tense. If you don't learn and know the rules, you are going to struggle. 
The rules for a sentence that is written in present tense is like this. Whenever you know or see a sentence or identify a sentence to be in present tense of the word you will use these words Wordier and ge. So, what I usually teach my children is write these words down somewhere on your paper immediately so that you know that you'll have to use them when you change the sentence. This is an example of a sentence written in in word of type. The scenes spiel hockey. The boys play hockey. You can always come back to this page to check the rules, write it down so that you can learn it in the future. The rules for verlede tijd is is dear en ge. So, if you identify that the sentence that they give you is written in verlede tijd, and how do I know that? When I see het, I know the sentence is written in verlede tijd. You see it's het hockey gespeel. The boys played hockey yesterday or the day before. I know it's verlede tijd, and I know my rules will be is dear en ge. Write it down somewhere on your piece of paper so that you know you'll have to use them when you change the sentence. If the sentence is written in de tijd, these are the rules for laid in the forum. Sal dier, ge, in word at the end of the sentence. Remember, boys and girls, you need to learn these rules. If you don't learn them, you will not know them. How do I know the sentence is in future tense of to come in the date? This word here, you see in soul hockey spiel. So this is a future tense sentence. Let's uh, go into this in a little bit more detail. Remember, if I'm going too fast for you, you can always rewind the video, come back to it, listen to it again, make some notes on a piece of paper so that you can follow the rules and learn it. We're going to do an example, voorbeeld, of a Leiden de Forum change to a sentence. If the sentence is written in, die in woorde getuid. You will find an instruction that says schrijf die sinne in leidende vorm. Begin met die woorde in vet gedruk. Vet gedruk means bold. So, I know I will need to start my sentence with the letter or the word written in bold. But let's see how I go about in doing this in a systematic way. I ask myself, which new words is joining this family? What is the rules for the word getuid? Yes, word dier en ge. You need to, if you, the moment you identify the rules, write it down somewhere for yourself so you know you'll need to add it later on. Which word is the verb? Spill. Now. Move the verb to the back of the sentence. What must I write in front of the verb? See what I did there? Ge. With which words do I start the new sentence? Ah, do you remember? Begin means start. The sentence with the words in bold. So I know I need to start the sentence with hockey. 
which words do I write directly after the object? Remember, Orki is the object, and we're changing or swapping the object and the subject. So, which words do I write directly after this object? After this object? Vortier. Yes, you see, I took, I'm applying the rules. So, I've written down Vortier directly after the object. So, hockey, word, dear. Now, I still need to finish the sentence here. Which words do I write after word, dear? The science, you are correct, because I need to finish the sentence, and we are talking about the science. So, let's look at the sentence. Hockey, word, dear. The scenes gespeel. Are we finished? Let's see. There's still one final step we need to look at. Remember? Remember the steps we did in the previous slide? Are there pronouns that needs to change? You need to look at that. And luckily for this sentence, no. No pronouns that needs to change. And the sentence is finished. Right, now we're going to do an example of changing a sentence to leidende vorm in another tense, in verlede tijd. What tense is that? Past tense, correct. Okay, in an exam or a test you will get an instruction. The instruction will usually read like this. Schrijf die sinne in die leidende vorm. Begin met die woorde in vet gedruk. Vet gedruk, which means bold. So, they're already helping me. They're telling me I'm going to start the sentence, start with the letter in bold, which is hockey. But, let's see how do I... What process do I follow to change this sentence? Because remember, now we're working with another tense, which is verlede tijd. So, you guessed it right, there's going to be different rules for verlede tijd, which we need to apply. Let's see. I ask myself, which new words is joining this family? In other words, what are the rules for date. Remember I gave it to you in the previous slides? Yes, is dear en ge. Is dear en ge. I ask myself, which word is the verb? Yes, gespeel. Die seens het hockey gespeel. The boys played hockey when somewhere in the past in the verlede tijd now what do i need to do move the verb to the back of the sentence immediately i write it down spiel but they're already giving it to me they're helping me because they are giving me it in a past tense format, so they are already saying g for me. So the rule is already applied when I need to write the word g or the letters g in front of the verb. So what must I write in front of the verb? You guessed it. G. This is an easy one. With which words do I start the new sentence? Yes, hockey. Which words do I write directly after the object? Remember, hockey is the object. We are swapping the object and the subject. So which words do I write directly after the object? Is dear. Remember the rules? Is dear. Goes directly after the object. 
which words do I write after a steer? Decisions, because we now need to write the subject. We are swapping the subject and the object. Are we finished? Let's see. I think there's one more step that we need to consider. Are there pronouns that needs to change? In this sentence, we are lucky because there are no pronouns and the finish is uh, the sentence is finished. Okay. This dear is the spell. Let's look at an example. A voorbeeld means example of a sentence that we need to change to Leiden the forum. But now the sentence is written in to quim in the tight. So to quim in the tight sentence have different rules. Remember the rules. You need to learn the rules. Which new words is joining this family? In other words, I'm asking. What are the rules when a sentence is written in to quim in the tight? Let's read. The science sal spiel. So I know it's a to quim in the tight because it's got sal in there. Something is going to happen in the future. What? The boys are going to play hockey when? In the future. It's a to quim in the tight sentence. It's got different rules. You need to learn the rules. So. What are they? Sal dear, I take my piece of paper and I write it down somewhere so that I don't forget. Sal dear, ge en bord. How do we apply these rules? Let's see. Write down word at the back of the sentence. Do you see the rules are different when it comes to to quim and dictate? I need to write down this first word, this word, at the back of the sentence. I do that immediately because I am applying the rule for to quim in the type. What do I do next? Which word is the verb? Okay. If you said spill, you guessed it correctly. Write the verb before. Word. Okay, I'm applying a, another rule, so I'm going to write this verb before word. Let's do it. There it is. What must I write in front of the verb? Think about it. Yes, you are right. G. Immediately I write G in front of the verb. With which words do I start the new sentence? Ah, you know this by now. Hockey. Hockey is also the object of the sentence. Which words do I write directly after the object? Think about it. Because we've been doing it. In the previous examples, yeah, you are right. Sal dear. Which words do I write after sal dear? Remember, we are swapping the object and the subject. We already have the object. Now we need what? Yes, the subject. So. The science goes directly after soldier. Am I finished? Let's, there's one more step. Remember, we need to look for pronouns. Are there pronouns that needs to change? And in this example, there are none. So let's read the sentence. Okay. Soldier. The science. The spiel. Word. And the sentence is. Finished, done, kaput, klar, and correct.
Remember, I've given you the rules to change a sentence in Leiden the Forum when it comes to different tenses. Uh, you need to learn those rules for the different tenses. It is a learning exercise. Um, when you get to a test or an exam and you see your instruction, write it down for yourself somewhere on a piece of paper so that you won't forget and you know which words or rules you have to apply in order to uh, finish the instruction given. Now practice makes perfect. Here is a few or are a few sentences that you can just pause this video and practice uh, to change into Leidende Forum. Here they are. The more you practice them, the more you will be con become confident in what you are doing and the better you will become. And this should be easy marks for you in any test. Thank you and enjoy.